So this is Cupid Parasite. Um, Limly, this is like a like a uh, dating sim game. So I just started a new route. I don't know why I couldn't figure out. <laughs> Last time I just wasn't clicking on the portrait. That was my only mistake. Hold on, let's see. Oh, the one I'm most worried about is Raiki. <laughs> oh, worried about the silent treatment? I just don't know if I can teach him how to have fun on a date. Even though it's just practice, this is still his first date. That's a heavy responsibility for me. Thank you. <laughs> fun, huh? Parasite 5 no koto, kichin to kangaite no ne? You really care a lot about Parasite 5, huh? Uh, <laughs> well, I am their managing advisor. Plus, this is my big chance to get a promotion. Majime ne? Dema anata no so you to koro, ski yo? Mina wa mihana statte no ni, erai wa? Even in the end, you still believe in them. True. Demo, karera ga Parasite 5 da to shitara. Yeah, pretty much. Oh yeah, let me change the title real quick too. One second. Um, okay, here we go. You do? Oh, yay! I'm glad. It's a really fun game. I love it. Or not the title, just the, uh... Just the category. There we go. I love it. It's so good. I've played three of the routes already. Oh my gosh, this is so delayed. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, let's continue. Guess that means that if they're the parasite, parasite five, you're the Cupid parasite, huh? Cupid parasite. Datte daigaku no koro kara tanin doshi o koi saseru no ni muchu datta janai. Maru de koi no Cupid to mitai ni. Hmm, you don't say. Uh oh. Clarice gives me the biggest smile I've ever seen. It's like an arrow to the heart. じゃあ、今日はもう遅いから解散しましょう。またオフィスでね。Okay, so Limly, I'm gonna I'm sorry, I'm gonna skip through this part a little bit because it's just the main story. Um and get to the character that I chose, basically. So I'm sorry, I'm just gonna skip just a little bit. This is just the main story. The Black Star. <laughs> Okay, so we're talking about, oh my gosh, by the way, side rant, I hate Gil. <laughs> I do not like his character. He's like a, uh, he's like a yandere. He's too obsessed with the MC and it's just, it's creepy. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of it. So that's what she's talking about now. I just, I'm like, no. <laughs> no, thank you. Case number four, Ryuki. <laughs> Alright, Friday, 11 a.m. Oh no, I'm late! Today was my practice date with Ryuki. But I was so focused on work, I didn't realize I was running late. I rushed to our meeting spot. 
Ah, there he is. Sorry, Ryuki. Have you been waiting long? Oh, sorry. You're late. He glared at me, his brow furrowed even more than usual. And he sprays. This is Ryuki's thing. He's always concerned with uh, your physical appearance. So that's why he's misting my face right now. <laughs> Can you please give the mist a rest? その顔何？遅刻してくるぐらいならきちんとお手入れすればいいのに。Make myself presentable, genius. So sorry, I just didn't want you to have to wait any longer than necessary. 遅刻されるよりも顔面偏差値下がる方が不愉快なんだけど、それに顔もパンパンだし、ちゃんと寝てんの？ It's gonna be interesting to see how he falls for her. <laughs> well, maybe not. All these practice dates really have been pretty exhausting, but of course I couldn't tell him that. This is my job after all. My date with Raul yesterday was physically demanding, to say the least. Physically demanding how? Raul is who I just finished in the, the last uh, story. I spent last night writing up a report detailing all the issues with each member, and I didn't finish till after midnight. しかもその靴も服も最悪。姿勢も悪いし、靴合ってないんじゃない？いや、性格でしょ。I know he's. He's cruel. <laughs> well, your outfit is hideous, and those shoes are... Are you sure they even fit? Your posture is awful. This is how you dress for a date? Oh, I think she looks cute. Ugh, sorry. His ruthless remarks really stung, especially since we were on a date and all. In fact, I chose my shoes especially for the occasion. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so he's saying we need to look better to be with him. Huh? Wait, what? Without another word, he grabbed me by the wrist and started walking. I know, right? He's so rude. He was practically dragging me, and for the first time, I was struck by his size. Is he tall? I've only ever seen him in a group with others, so I've never really noticed how tall he is. Walking next to him, I was forced to tilt my head up to look at him. But where are we going? There was no hesitation in his act, in his stride. The whole situation was pretty odd, but I decided to just go along with it. Eventually, we found ourselves in the Sixth Avenue shopping district. So, Okay, this is where we're going. Ryuki ended up dragging me into what? A beauty salon? Oh wow, that's so rude. Go pick out a new outfit for you. A acceptable body? Which meant he thought that I was currently unacceptable. As I stood there in shock, the salon beautician came out to greet us. How can we help you today? Yes, the manager.
まあ、いっかとりあえずここのメニューにあるの全部であと施術状況を見たいから僕のメニューチーズ I can't imagine analyzing someone like that 24 7. That must be exhausting. What? Oh! <laughs> We can't allow a man inside. What's he got to say about that? 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 Bigger concern is actually whether or not you know what you're doing. Oh my goodness. Personally, I wouldn't be okay with it because I don't know this man. But for this purpose, I guess we're gonna say yes.、Uh, let me save. I have so many saves. There we go. Wait, no, no, no. What if he jumped in here? Yes, exactly. Oh my gosh. Insanity. The beautician was clearly unsure of what to do. I, I don't mind either way. I'm totally fine. She's lying. Please follow me. Okay, so she got, she got permission. I didn't think she would agree, honestly. She doesn't. Lynette doesn't seem like the type that would agree to that. Um, I think I'm ready. Beauty was not built in a day. Hmm, interesting quote. I'd taken off my clothes and laid down on the salon bed. Yeah, I kept my eyes closed, but since the petition and Ryuki step inside. Yeah, go go they meet it. That's so awkward though. He's just standing in the corner. We don't even know this guy. Shall we begin? The beautician removed my makeup, then had me flip over to lay on the bed face down. She wiped me down with a hot towel, then began massaging me. So, are we getting a massage? The. Aromatic candles and the warmth touch of her hands had me feeling drowsy. As I was drifting off, I heard an annoyed sigh. So, no, Tetsuki. Honki de yatteru? Oh, God, what is he gonna do now? Are you serious with this? Huh? Hi, so not so mori desu ma. I think so. I could not stay in a room with him. So, no, yo, I, Tetsuki de. Limpa iki ga nagareru wake nai jan. Do ite. Oh my gosh. Oh, we did, not get we did not give him permission. <laughs> huh? I heard Ryuki ushering the beautician out of the room. Oh boy. Here we go. Wait, is he seriously massaging me himself right now? <laughs> I was too afraid to open my eyes, but it seemed that Ryuki had decided to take her place and was now massaging my back. He pr pressed his hands down into my back. There was a clear sense of strength behind the sensation, obviously, the hands of a man. <sighs> I don't know, why are they so stiff? Actually, Chi hasn't really been around recently. So Chi is her little, like, what? Her little, like, beast that follows her around. Oh, yeah. So, uh. <laughs> so she. <laughs> she's Cupid, by the way. It's the name Cupid Parasite. So, yeah, just a tidbit on that. And Chi is, like, her little divine beast that. Protects her, I think. I haven't been able to use him as a makeshift massage lately. <clears throat> Excuse me, my voice. Massager lately, which is probably why my shoulders have been getting worse and worse. Um, I guess I've just been spending a lot of time hunched over my desk. 
デスクワークでもできるストレッチとかあるでしょう、はあ、体に溜まった老廃物流していくよ<笑> Okay, let's see if you can flush these toxins out. Be sure. He poured a bit of oil onto my back and started massaging it into my skin.、Mm. This is. Wow! I don't know what sound that's supposed to be. That feels so good. He pressed into my shoulder blades, then slid his hands down each side of my back. I guess that's how you flush out toxins? His fingers moved with accuracy and confidence. It was breathtaking. Seriously, I couldn't help but gasp out loud. His approach as a beautician seemed less about relaxing me <laughs> and more about physically driving stress out of my body. <laughs> ah, so nice. <laughs> Can you please stop making those? <laughs> wow! Can you please stop making those weird noises? Sorry, it just feels so good. I've never felt this way before. Wow, she's never. Well, yeah, I guess it makes sense that she's never had a massage. I must ins insist you stay perfectly quiet. She can't help it, alright? I can't help it. You're just so good at this. I'd been to places like this a few times before, but nobody had ever attacked my pressure points with such precision. <laughs> Not only does he know clothes and makeup. <laughs> oh no, don't go there. Not only does he know clothes and makeup, but he understands the physical body itself. <laughs> no wonder he's the glamour parasite. <laughs> I'll, do that. I'll do that next time. <sighs> I was feeling so relaxed, I couldn't help but start getting sleepy again. I haven't been getting enough sleep recently, so I'm not sure I can stop myself from falling asleep. The di oh, the title? Yeah, uh. Let's see, what is it right now? Oh, oh, it's kind of supposed to be for both games this time. So I'll just, I'll just leave it this time. <laughs> Hopefully it's okay. Is the category changed at least? If you're really that tired, go ahead and fall asleep. Ryuki's voice was much more gentle than I'd ever heard him before. Why can't he sound like that all the time? If he did, I'm sure he'd find a wife in no time. For my part, I was happy to take his advice. I fell into a deep slumber. I'm finished. This is why you're still a C rank. Dang. I wouldn't want to get up either. Ah! Is he just gonna. Is he just gonna pick me up? The irritation in his voice finally pulled me out of my nap. Oh. I saw him looking down at me with open content. とっとと服を着てこの後メイク整えに行くからうぅ、the make makeup oh right, okay, that's okay well, hopefully now it says cupid parasite that's what it should be happy ending <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> okay Ryuki strode out of the room with confidence. I feel so light. <laughs> I, should, I stood up feeling more refreshed than I had in a long time. 
Even my eyesight seemed a little clearer. I ran my fingers across my cheeks, reveling in their smoothness. A proper salon treatment really is incredible. As I was getting dressed, I almost forgot it was I was a professional. Oh my goodness, let me reread that. <laughs> As I was getting dressed, I almost forgot it was a professional fashion designer who had given me such an incredible experience. All right, after I left the treatment room, the beautician told me the payment had been taken care of. I made my way to the exit. Ryuki, did you really pay for my treatment? Yeah, yeah, kind of like a beauty, like a healing type of beauty thing. Well, I hope you would pay for it. You didn't volunteer to do this. <laughs> A mere trifle. Come on, let's go. It clearly seemed unconcerned about the money. We headed for a nearby makeup store. Here we go. He's probably gonna roast the, the makeup employee. Oh, maybe not. We'd like to apply everything right now. Oh my gosh. Huh? Alright. I, I guess. The employee took Ryuki's payment with a confused but eager look on her face. He didn't even give me a chance to take out my wallet. Well again, I mean, he's the one who's saying you need all this, so... You know. Y you're gonna pay for it already? Don't you want to test it out and see if it matches my complexion first? あんたの肌のコンディションも似合う色も一目見ればわかるから試すまでもないよ。だいたい試してその後クレンジングで撮ったら整えたばかりの肌が疲弊するじゃないか。<laughs> okay. I don't think I know anyone else who'd be willing or able to take that kind of approach. Ryuki just kept proving his status to a genius fashion designer over and over again. Or as a genius fashion designer. I guess since he can literally see colors around people, he must be naturally good at picking out colors to suit them. Oh, uh, what is that called when you can see... Not see colors. Um, shoot. I can't think of the name. I can't think of the name. It's like, not... Is it like, uh... You can see sound or something? I don't know. <laughs> As I stood there marveling, Ryuki took the newly purchased makeup and got to work on me without hesitation. <sighs> Just a small effort. Yeah, um... Uh... Maybe like Aura. I can't think. There, there's a specific name for it. But what he's talking about, I would say, is probably kind of like his R maybe. I can't remember. <laughs> Charlie. Charlie XCX. Who's, or who's that? I'm not familiar with that. Hmm. As an expert, he really, he ex- Oh my goodness. As he expertly applied the blush, I couldn't help but think what a pain it would be to do this every single day. Sorry, I wish I had a professional do this for me every day. Yes! Thank you, Limley. That's what it is. Mm-hmm. 
That, I think that's exactly what it is. Yes. That's what I'm thinking of. Okay. So we have our first option. Uh, sorry, I wish I had a professional to do this for me every day. I think he'd obviously appreciate this. I wish a professional could do this for me every day. I think that's the only way I could keep it up. I guess he told us. <clears throat> Sorry. He threw out a few more barbed comments as he continued playing the makeup. <laughs> okay. So we need to load that. And re-answer. Because that clearly wasn't right. Sorry. Er, sorry. Do it properly. Okay. There we go. We got it. Okay. Despite the harsh words, Ryuki still seemed intent on applying my makeup. And he was obviously serious about raising the grade of my face. I could tell he was trying really hard with me. I had to respect him for that. If nothing else, despite his sharp tongue, lots of girls would love being pampered like this. Of course, this doesn't fix the problem that he won't even recognize the existence of some girls unless he's forced to. And girls above a certain grade already take care of themselves, so his constant critiques would probably just annoy them. I really can't figure out what kind of girl would be right for him. As I was thinking about that, Ryuki finished applying my makeup. Outfit time. Let's do it. Ah, okay, but listen. About all this spending. I know. <laughs> He's a trip. <laughs> if he's gonna insult me like that, yes, let him pay for everything. <laughs> uh, wait. A date? I realized like, that Ryuki was actually treating this like a proper date. Somehow it made me feel kind of embarrassed. Well, he's supposed to, right? You want him to treat it treat you like he would treat his real date. That's right, this is his first real date. So to him, it's only natural that the guy should pay for everything. <laughs> exactly. She knows she likes it. I saw this as another point in his favor. Plenty of single men these days didn't share that kind of view. I'm starting to feel like I might actually be able to help him find a good match. I decided that among all of the Parasite 5, Ryuki might actually have the most potential for getting married. I could feel myself getting a little excited at the idea and followed him into an expensive looking boutique. We're going here? I hesitated at the entrance, and Ryuki turned to glare at me with an annoyed look on his face. Okay, jeez, chill. Uh, okay, I guess. I nervously followed him in. Before I knew it, he was holding several outfits in his hands. Over here. He directed me to a nearby mirror and held a dress in front of me. Wow, this dress is actually really cute. He'd found a fantastic outfit in an instant. He really did have an eye for fashion, but then... 
it off. It's no good. Why? Huh? Wait, seriously? The skirt length? How do you know what skirt length matches her, huh? He put the dress away and produced the next outfit. <laughs> he held up one outfit after another, but one by one returned each of them to their hangers. <sighs> We'll have to go somewhere else. Hmm. With that, we were off to another store. Huh? I don't know. I thought that last outfit was pretty cute. That store's the store's theme, really. The store's theme. Okay. Whatever. Okay, she's better suited to a mature look, whatever. I guess this is how a fashion designer would approach things. Tim being so particular wasn't really a surprise in the end. He started walking again and I followed after him. I've never had anyone so serious about helping me pick out clothes. I have to admit, it feels kind of nice. When I first arrived here, I, know nothing, I knew nothing about fashion and didn't have money anyway. I just borrowed clothes from Gil. After I met Claire's, she introduced me oops, to a few stores with nice clothes, but I still struggled finding my own style. Let's give this place a shot, alright. Huh? Here? This particular boutique certainly did have a mature feel to it. I'd never been inside a place like this, so naturally I was nervous. But as it turned out, Ryuki wasn't a fan. He held a single outfit up to me before immediately turning around and walking out. This kept going for several more stores. Oh my gosh. I'd be ready to go. <laughs> Finally, we found an outfit that Ryuki actually wanted me to try on. Ryuki... Oh. I headed into the fitting room and then... Oh god. What is he gonna do? I have a bad feeling about this. I don't know. I, just, I have a bad feeling. <laughs> what do you think? Along with the dress, Ryuki had added shoes, a purse, and several other accessories. Oh my gosh, she's getting all this for free? Coming out of the fitting room, I was incredibly nervous. He looked me over from head to toe and then nodded. Okay, Finally, something he's satisfied with, my goodness. The store clerk removed the various tags and carried the shoe box to the register. I reached for my purse in an attempt to pay. But of course Ryuki stopped me once again. Hmm. Okay, I guess my I'm assuming my bad feeling was wrong. <laughs> because he already bought it. Ryuki pointed to the chair in the fitting room, then walked over to the register. Is this really okay? He's so much younger than me. I feel weird about letting him pay for everything. I thought this might just be my most date-like date so far. Yeah, I'm surprised. This is the most date-like out of all the others that I've seen her go on a date with. Sitting there in the fitting room, I felt a little restless. Eventually, Ryuki finished paying and returned. Thank you, Ryuki. Okay, 
We have to do something about that hair of yours. Leave her hair alone, it's pretty. Uh, okay. What's he gonna do? I nodded timidly. He produced a brush seemingly out of nowhere and got to work on my hair. Since we're, excuse me? Oh, right. Right, she shares a house with all of them. I forgot for a minute. I was like, living together? What? What? But I'm sure it's really expensive, right? I'd feel weird using someone else's stuff like that. Dang. <laughs> he took some kind of oil from his bag and squeezed a few drops into my hair. I could practically feel it becoming silky smooth. That stuff is amazing. It totally fixed my hair in no time. Tada silicon was hiding in the Silicone. That doesn't sound too good. <sighs> Why didn't you take her to a hair salon? Though? That's why. Okay. I would be, uh, I'd be okay with that. You want to do my hair for me? Please do. <laughs> huh? But I can't do that kind of thing. I can do that kind of thing for myself. Dang, her hair doesn't look bad. Ugh. I couldn't think of anything to say to that, so I just stared down at the ground as Ryuki kept on coming. Combing. Oh my goodness. <laughs> a few minutes later. Uh, a few minutes later. Let's take a look. Uh, okay. I put on the shoes he'd bought for me and came out of the fitting room. Standing in the mirror was a completely different person. From head to toe, my entire look was perfectly coordinated. Wow, this is really incredible! My hair was luxurious, my skin was glowing, and my outfit was something I never would have picked out on my own. <laughs> the heels were just the right height, and I could feel my posture improving. Even my face felt smoother and more natural. Is this really me? I felt like Cinderella after a visit from her fairy godmother. I couldn't stop staring into the mirror. Ryuki had a clear look of pride on his face. そう、真面目にやれば誰でもこれぐらいマシになるんだよ。それなのに誰もやらないってだけ。もし、ピポチェスチーズ持つ。あんたも。そう、それば僕も一日ミスト<笑><笑> So when Ryuki sprays people with his mist, is that just his way of showing that he cares? Eh, I don't know about that. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know. I had a, I had a monster drink earlier, so um, I've probably got a few more hours left in me. But I'm not sure how much, how long I'm gonna continue this game. We shall see. <laughs> I 
realizing that most people would never understand that made me a little bit sad. Well, anyway, is it okay for me to walk beside you now? Hmm, not bad. Ten points, wow. I mean, that's pretty significant. Wow, that sounds like a lot. Before, he said my grade was 55, so I was just a C rank, but if I have a 65, now that means I'm an A rank. Are you sure? I don't think that's how that works. If I can keep this up, he might even be willing to acknowledge me as a friend. Oh my gosh. Raise your standards, girl. But still, he said he could never see someone as a romantic interest if they don't have a grade of at least 70. I felt like I'd probably have to try at least twice as hard to stay to hit that. Quite the hurdle to overcome. I mean, if you gain 10 points in a day, I think you can reach 70. But even if I'd only achieved friendship level, I would consider the practice date a success. Now then, why don't we proceed to the actual date part of our date? It took a while to get to this point, but ultimately, I had to remember that this was his very first date. I wanted to help him create some nice memories, so I held out my hand. He hesitated, but finally took my hand in his. How lovely. I'm gonna say really quick. There we go. We casually strolled around the area, checking out different stores and even stopping by a cafe. So is he actually taking her out this time? Before we realized it, the sun had started to set. Okay, that should be the end of his date, I think. Ah, uh, it's getting dark. Why don't we head home? So Mm -hmm. That's true. Okay, let's head to the subway station. We held hands again as we started walking. Today was a surprisingly normal date. I silently hoped that the other members of the Parasite 5 would follow his example. I was lost in such thoughts as we descended toward the subway entrance. Suddenly, I recognized someone in the crowd. Oh, that's Melanie! Dare. Who? She's another one of our members. I'm actually her advisor. Ah, uh, looks like she's checking out some clothes. Doko? Right there, next to that red sign. ]誰も見えないけど。まさかあの黒いもやみたいなやつ? Oh my gosh, is he roasting another girl or is he actually blind? Black haze? Wait, can you really not see her? Is her facial grade that low? あはそうかも。画面偏差値が低いものを見ると不快になるから、無意識のうちに見ないようにしてるんだと思う。you subconsciously? Mm, no, I don't no most people that have that type of defense. I looked at Ryuki to see if he was joking, but he was just staring intently at the sign. He could really couldn't see her apparently. Okay, Lindley, get some good rest. I'll see you later. <laughs> so he was just speaking metaphorically with that whole thing. He wasn't. So he wasn't just speaking metaphorically with that whole thing? He was being literal? 
I was standing there in shock at this revelation when I heard Melanie's voice call out. Oh, hello, Melanie. Oh, it's okay. We're just doing a bit of training. <laughs> he looks so irritated. Okay, almost five hours, not quite. Interesting. Uh, are they... What? He's totally ignoring her. Seeing him ignore her like that reminded me of how he acted during the party. It's like he can't even in oh my gosh, it's like he can't even acknowledge her existence. This guy's a jerk. I'm really sorry, but we really need to get going. Please excuse us, Melanie. Uh, hi. Oh, good, Melanie. It's totally alright. I'll see you at our next meeting, okay? Come on, Ryuki. Time to go. He honestly never noticed she was there? Oh, yay! I'm glad you like it! Yay! He honestly never noticed she was there. I took him by the arm and dragged him down to the subway. It's gonna get a lot more interesting. After getting on the train, I breathed a sigh of relief. That was so nerve-wracking. Melanie just seemed more curious about what was going on than anything. I hope she didn't realize he was completely ignoring her. Even if I tried yelling at him, I'm sure Ryuki wouldn't understand, since he genuinely didn't know she was there. If this is really how he works, things could be even worse than I thought. Like, for example, if he starts dating a girl that just barely passes when she takes off her makeup, she might just disappear. It's possible that his facial grade problem might disappear once we, they've been brought together well and formed a bond, but... Oh, <laughs> this cake drama. Yeah. <laughs> it's very intriguing. <laughs> He, he said he can only interact with C-rank faces at work, and that he wouldn't even recognize D-rank faces. In other words, there's no world in which he could hold a conversation with a D-rank girl. And even with a score above 55, he'll only deal with her if he has to as part of his job. So that means they need to reach at least B rank before he can even acknowledge their existence outside of work? What's the matter? Why are you looking at me like that? Uh, sorry. I was just thinking about how to deal with something. Ryuki looked confused. He obviously had no idea what I was talking about. I had to admit that he was innocent in a way and didn't mean any harm, but that just left me feeling even more exasperated. Ugh, even after such a relaxing massage, I can feel my shoulders getting tight again already. I started rubbing my shoulders with my free hand, and Ryuki shot me another disapproving glance. I could feel him judging my posture. Oh, give it a rest, Ryuki. Immediately, I did my best to sit up straight. All I could think about was getting home as soon as possible. That's what I would be thinking about, too. 
Exactly, Lindley. Exactly. It's on the inside. That's what counts. Wedding disruption. Okay, so this is still part of the continued route. So I'm going to save here. She's just going on the dates with the other guys, which they don't show us because I'm not doing their routes. So overwrite. And I'm going to skip to the next uh, date. Okay. Or to the next dialogue, I should say. Ugh, Gil. Ooh. <laughs> I don't want to see your face right now. Don't let Gil bear the brunt. He was my first playthrough. Okay, and probably another choice? Okay, back to Ryuki. Well then, I suppose that's okay. Well, I suppose that's okay. Well, I suppose that's okay. Uh, I'm trying to remember what happens in this scene. I believe she was like trying to fix an issue they had because they're they're basically all on television trying to find them a match, and um, I think she was just trying to fix that. So he came over and said, "Oh, don't work so hard," and just giving her a skin mask or something. As Ryuki turned to go, I was. Seeing, I saw him blushing just the tiniest bit, and his ears seemed to be turning red too. Okay. I love his theme. Was he embarrassed? Was Ryuki embarrassed or something? He's always so crabby. It's definitely possible he was embarrassed at doing something nice for a change. He didn't just miss me like he usually would. I'm sure he thought about it and picked a mask that would fit my skin the best. I'm really happy we decided to do this Parasite House project. Yep, that was the right choice. And there have been so many firsts for me with them. I was hardly able to provide any support as a bridal advisor at all. But each of them have definitely changed in some way, and it's all thanks to living in this house, share house. Okay, I don't want to make Ryuki worry about me, so I should hurry up and finish this blog, po blog post so I can go to bed. As I was working on the blog, I could practically feel my skin getting softer. He really is the glamour parasite. I've been trying to fix that side of him, but maybe he's okay as is, as long as he can be considerate of others. But what made him become so fixated on people's looks in the first place? Yeah, I'm really, I'm really interested to see his story. Like he's just so obsessed with looks. My guess was that it had something to do with him being such a dedicated fashion designer. But I'm not exactly a trained therapist, so the last thing I want to do is dig into it too much and end up hurting him. He's still young and he tends to take things really seriously, but his private life is still a complete mystery. Although, he did say that everyone in his family talks about their facial braid thing a lot. In any case, I should sit down with everyone again after Parasite House is over. That's what I was thinking about as the night drew to a close. Okay, and then we can skip through just a little bit more. Good night something. I didn't catch that, but I'm pretty sure it's still the common story. Let's see what she says really quick. Okay, so yeah, just the final episode of their show that they're doing. Yep, 
And where are we now? Well, if it were up to me, oh right, so there was someone that was, um, I can't remember doing, they were doing something illegal, um, posting something illegal, I think, or they leaked some personal information, and so now the president of the company is asking me what I should do. I don't want to mess this up. Um... I can't remember which one is the right choice. I feel like it wasn't reported to the police, even though that's what you should do, right? Hmm. Instagram? I think it was to the police, hopefully. うちの秘書が万が一誘拐される可能性もあるし、分かった。私の。Let me just make sure this is the right choice, because I actually don't remember. Wasted love. Okay, so yeah, I think I picked the right choice. For some reason, I thought I didn't. Wait, I don't know what this is. Oh shoot. Uh... Use Cupid's bill for what? Ooh, I don't know. Let me see if I can check the dialogue. Oh, I can't right now. Oh, um, I'm gonna say don't use Cupid's bill for whatever it is. Let me just double check that I can't. No, I can't since I skipped it. Oh well. I hope I didn't mess this up. Okay. Skip. Skip, skip, skip. And this should I should be close to the end of the common route now. But at the same time, the end created a whole new challenge for me. Uh oh. Okay, we're on his route finally. Thank goodness. I'm gonna save again. I'll save over these two, because these don't really matter too much. リュウキ、今なんてあなたはこれが違う色に見えるのえだって、そっちの糸は灰色だけど、ここだけ紫でしょどうして変えたの Oh no, Lindley, it woke you up. Oh, that's always the worst. Yoku Korega Murasaki da toakata, ne? Taite no designer wa Koreo Hairo da to you, wa? Chiga inisura kizukanai. Do ya omae wa? Ironi taiste shibi ana meo motte rio, ne? Hmm, so his grandmother seems to be really into this. So, yeba, Konoi da e ho, Yominagara, Moji no Ironga, Akadano, Aodano to eat the Takashira. Hmm, so maybe he's just like really sensitive to something? 
Like some type of. I don't know. Disorder or something? この絵本の文字はどれも黒のはずなのに、リュウキは文字に色が見える。共感覚ということね。そうです。ああ、that makes a lot of sense。おばあさま？リュウキ、明日から私のアトリエいらっしゃい。私自らデザイナーの極意を叩き込んであげましょう。That makes a lot of sense now. Very good. Then we'll move forward with our standard plan. I'll draw up the contract right away. But I thought I also had to do something with sound. Maybe not. I can't, I can't remember exactly、uh, what it's about. Let's go, n e g a i s m a s Thank you, I'm so excited. Great, just leave everything to me. Parasite House is finished, and I'm back to my usual duties. I've spent all day singing, signing up new members and prepping them or preparing to help them find true love. All right. Whew, if everything goes well, I could have three new marriage proposals on the horizon. The Parasite Five canceled their memberships, so a promotion is out of the picture. But if I work hard, I'm sure I'll get another chance. Chi? There, there's Chi, her little divine beast creature. When I got back to my desk, Chi was flapping around in the air. After a moment, he came to rest on my shoulder. I grabbed him and started pushing him into my shoulder to give myself a nice massage. Poor Chi. Stop hurting him. <laughs> In his struggle to get loose, he unleashed a jolt of energy that helped relax my muscles. Ah, that feels so nice. This makes me feel like I really am back. I didn't really have any time to give him proper attention while I was at Parasite House. Parasite House in the Parasite Five. Out of curiosity, I glanced at the profile sheets for the Parasite Five again. Cupid Core's most frustrating members the Lovelorn Parasite, the Prestige Parasite, the Obsessed Parasite, the Thieving Parasite, and of course, Ryuki, the Glamour Parasite. He was the one I really wanted to teach the meaning of love to. He wouldn't recognize it if it was standing right in front of him. Of course, maybe if a truly perfect woman appeared before him, that might be enough to convince him. After all, he judges everything by their visual appeal, so that could totally be possible. When it comes to love, style topology, He's definitely Eros. Love is all about physical attraction for him. Oh, yeah, so I could also do the quiz too, and each one has a different love style. And it helps you gain extra points at the end if you get the one that matches the person,、uh, matches the route you're doing. But I just wish he could learn what actual true love is all about. If people really aren't interested in love or just don't understand it, that's fine, but in the end, I'm Cupid, the goddess of love. I just want people to know the joy and happiness that comes from love and to embrace it fully. I want to prove that anyone can find true love without having to rely on the gods and show Dad just how wrong he is. But now that Ryuki has left the company, I'm not exactly in a position to give him any more advice. Ah,、uh, how annoying. Ah, but I need to get ready for my next appointment. I placed the profile sheets back into the folder and adjusted my focus back to my work at hand, to the work at hand. 
It's my job to help the people who are actually looking for help, who have come to me to find love again and get married. As I was lost in thought, I received an email. It was a report that two of my clients, Bob and Jesse, were going to get married. I can't remember if I need to skip through any more of this. I don't think I do. Congratulations on the big news! ありがとうございます。本当にありがとうございます。ボブと出会えたのは的確なあなたのアドバイスのおかげです。本当アドバイザーさんのおかげですね。今までの僕じゃ、ジェシーみたいなタイプとまず会ってみようって思わなかったです